Welcome to Index Law Number One by Mr. O'Connor. Dun dun dun. All right. So, easiest way to do this is when we look from index notation and put it into expanded form, and then go back to index notation. Index Law One should rear its beautiful head. So, if I convert this to expanded form, simply one, two, three, four, and a to the power of three is one, two, three. A squared becomes A times A. A times A times A. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's not real good for you, but I can see it. And then we go back to index notation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just count them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I've got to look for my links. How do I get rid of this step? How do I go from here to here? And I go, well, I've got four and three to get to seven, two and three to get to five, five and four to get to nine, and hopefully you can figure out I'm just adding those together. And so our index law one, therefore, is a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of n plus n. What that means is when we have the same base number, that's important, so you notice that that's always A. We can just add our indices if we're multiplying. So A to the power of 5 times A to the power of 5 becomes 5 plus 5, A to the power of 10. B to the power of 6 times B to the power of 4, 6 plus 4, B to the power of 10. And then I think, ooh, what do I do when I get this one? And that's a bit funny, uh, so I'm not sure. So I'm going to put it into expanded form again. Where I go C times C times C and then seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, missed the page. And then count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what I can then figure out is when there's nothing there, there's really a one there. We don't write the one because it's just not what we do, it's understood. So if there's nothing, add a one. Where it gets a little bit trickier is when I start throwing numbers in it as well. So I start throwing coefficients in. That's the number in front of the letter. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by putting it into expanded form. Five times A times A times A times three times one, two, three, four, five, six. Now when I multiply, it doesn't really matter which order I multiply it in. Two times three times four is the same as three times four times two, it's the same as four times two times three, it doesn't matter. So I can do my numbers first. Five times three is 15, and then my A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is the same as when I add them. So that's A to the power of nine. So with this one, I do my numbers, nine times four, and then I add my indices. All right. So last one is when I have a couple of mixed bases. Now remember we said at the start that they have to be the same base number. So I can add, I can work my A's together and I can work my B's together. So this one, A is six plus five and B is four plus three. Now, I don't have to put a multiplication symbol in there, so it's a to the power of 11, b to the power of seven. That's how we just write it. So, same thing here. I'll go four times three is 12, and times two is 24. And then I've got to remember, I can do my C's together. I can't do anything with my D's. And remember, there's a one there, so that becomes c to the power of four, d squared. And always write it into alphabetical order, and that, is index law number one.